All right, so I'm gonna use this video as a redeemer from the <laughs> Underglow install. Uh, a lot of you didn't like it. A lot of you liked it. So I'm gonna say this one was a tie right down the middle. Um, yeah, a lot of you sided with with my wife saying it was gross and a lot of you said, hey, that's a good idea, that's making a comeback. Apparently it's making a comeback already in Japan. So I'm just ahead of the game. Um, but that brings me to what we're doing today. And what we're doing today is I'm going to, well, actually first I wanna show you something. So a while ago, it was my birthday in May and my beautiful wife bought me a present uh, that helps me Make my car shiny. Torque. So I've been, I was in the market for getting one of these bad boys. Uh, not necessarily this one, but I wanted a good one. And uh, after looking up reviews and, and whatnot, uh, my wife and I, well actually she decided obviously because she bought it for me, but we did a lot of research on what was good, especially for um, both professionals and amateurs and let me tell you I'm very much an amateur This is a kit. So it came with three of the main pads that you need. I use the green one Which is the medium one primarily um, And it comes with these little sample bottles of the um, polish and cuts and final grades now back in my day my early 20s, late teens, I was very much into detail and I kind of got lost um, because it got lost out of my circle of interest because of university and spending money on performance parts and such. So I know very little um, and I don't know a very lot if you're with me. I do know some things though and I'm going to be mainly doing the roof of the Forester today and the reason why is because it is um, imperative in my eyes to protect the paint before we have lots of snow, lots of ice, and lots of the crap on the roads, right? I don't want this thing to get ruined because as you've seen, it's super clean and I want to keep it clean. So my first step is polishing the roof because the roof, in my opinion, is the worst um, conditioned body panel on this thing. I don't know why. Probably because the sun just baked it. So... That'll be the first area of attack. I've already done the hood um, just because of it got coolant burn etched marks in it and uh, it took it off really nice. So I'm hoping that the, the roof is the same way. I'm going to be taping the section off that I'm doing so you guys can see comparatively what I'm doing. Um, also, what I like to do is I like to go with the grain of the car. The way that the water goes, the way that the wind goes is that way. So when you're doing your job, you want to be going, following the green. You don't really want to be going back and forth. You want to be going this way. Um, that's something that I learned a long, long time ago. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll show you the polish I'll be using. I won't be using any of that. I didn't have good luck with that stuff. Um, what I am going to be using, uh, we've had better luck with, is the Ultimate Compound from Meguiar. So I'll be using this. I'll be using my torque. I'm going to try to do one pass because I don't want to take a lot of the clear coat off. Um, but when this turns on, um, it, it automatically goes to one and a half thousand RPM. And I'm going to take it up to two. That's, that's what I find. So, 20. So I'll be going to uh, 2000 RPM with this guy. And we're going to check out the results and then I'm going to seal in the paint with some ceramic um, coating. So uh, let's go. Generally speaking, you want to go in a two by two square. Um, I'm comfortable doing it in this square. So what I'm going to do is I tape this off. I'm going to do this square rectangle, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to show you guys the results. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the roof and you can see it's kind of hazy and that's just years of sun fade, grime, everything on the roof. Uh, looks like there's some sap burn marks, but um, hopefully we can bring it back to life and then seal it and um, 
ceramic coat it so everything else during the winter will just bead right off of it so that's the goal so uh, when I start out I like to put five drops um, whoop, that was a little more than I expected <laughs> so I like to put five now everyone does this differently so that's how I like to do it and then what I'll do is I'll dab this within the square and then I'll start That's uh, dried to a haze. Uh, you guys seen that I just, I did that while I was up there just cause it's been bugging me for so long. I don't know how it's gonna turn out cause the clear coat has been burnt away essentially. Um, but I'm gonna polish it and seal it anyway so it doesn't get any worse. But I'm gonna go get a brand new microfiber and we're gonna wipe that away and see how it looks. Another trick of the trade is some of these microfibers, you can obviously buy certain ones. Um, but I have just a bunch of them in there and um, sometimes they have tags on them. Make sure you rip the tags off because the tags can actually scratch your paint. So the results speak for themselves. You can see the square here and the rest of the roof. It's like night and day. Like, look at that. But I'm not 100% happy with it. Um, it looks good, but I want it even better than this. So I'm gonna try and take that cut polish sample that came with the kit, and I'm gonna see if I can get this further. Um, it took all the big scratches out. There's just, a little little bit of uh yeah like all the major stuff is gone it's just just a little bit of hazy scratches left like nothing serious at all but i'm gonna give it a try and we'll we'll see how guys super stoked to show you the results look at this it's not perfect yet but there's a lot of crud on this roof as you can see like look at that there's the paint line so two, two different times I went over this, one with a compound polish from Meguiar's, ultimate compound, and then one with a cut. And they were both fairly quick. I just went four to five passes each time. And it turned out like a mirror compared to that. So I'm super stoked with the results. I'm gonna do the rest of the roof like this. Keep in mind, you do wanna keep it as close to a two by two as possible. I know this is almost double, not quite. Um, but if you do a two by two, you're gonna get better results because you don't have to stretch the uh, 
the polish so far, which I did here. So this would have turned out a lot better if I would have halved it for sure. But I'm gonna do that to the rest, so uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Well, sort of, I haven't detailed, sprayed it, or uh, coated it yet, but look at this. It is like a mirror now. The only thing that you can tell in direct light you can see are those sap spots I was telling you about. I'm gonna have to probably do a full three stage on this thing instead of just a one, one bottle and done type of thing. So I will be ordering a, uh, a, a staged kit. That being said, I didn't wanna push my pad too hard because I don't have a, uh, a pad applicator which keeps it uh, lubed up and, and from wrecking. And I can already tell it's not liking life right now. So this is the product I was able to get out with my circumstances. And uh, I'm really happy with it. You like the phone is picking that up, but your eyes can't. Like that's a good representation right there. Cause all those spots are all the way down, but that is the roof now. <laughs> It's like a mirror. So super stoked with the results. Um, like I said, it's just unfortunate that those spots are still there, but I wasn't really expecting those to come out. So uh, job very well done with what I had. I'm not tooting my horn, I'm tooting the, the uh, polisher's horn. Super happy with that thing. Super happy with the kit I got. And uh, just gotta remember to pick up that pad applicator because my pad was not liking life. So I'm gonna give that a clean, put some pad applicator on it. The key was too, was putting this on. I did a coat of this on the front, like the very front above the windshield. And it came out super nice. You probably can't see it cause it just doesn't hit the light, but it's like brand new up here. I did it to about here. So it looks really good, but yeah. Well everybody, that was the video on uh, polishing the Forester's roof. Um, turned out super good as you saw in the video. Um, obviously it could be better, that is without a doubt, but I'm going to, uh, before I do any more, I'm going to buy a pad application spray. Keep it nice and lubed up and clean. And I'm gonna try to see what I can get for a stage polish. That uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound is really good for a single stage. And um, I'm surprised it got a lot of that stuff out but that those marks have been in the roof for how long and the sun has been baking them in. But uh, you can't even see them really unless the light is just perfectly on them. So I'm gonna end the video off here. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to check out the channel. Um, if you like this sort of thing, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, everyone, peace.